Hello 4C gang. Well, I'm assuming you have 4C hair if you're watching this or you just have natural hair. Welcome to my channel. I am Hakima and today we are reviewing African Pride. Finally, I've been wanting to try this product. I've seen it everywhere and I've never tried it before. So I went to the beauty supply store and I picked up the whole entire line. I'm gonna walk you guys through my walk day and just give you my opinions because I have a lot of them. But this was such a good wash day, guys. It only took me two hours and I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I cut down the time so much considering how much hair I have but this time it went very smoothly I love the product stick around if you are interested and please give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe so this is what my hair was looking like it was very dry and I just took out the Fulani braids that I had in and then I sectioned off of my hair I didn't pre-poo today because I was just lazy so I always start by wetting my hair before I manipulate it in any way this will just cut down breakage and shedding and all of that. So I basically had three sections on each side and then the kitchen area of my hair, the back was its own section. So I'm mostly gonna demonstrate on this back section cause it's the easiest to show you guys. So I just started by going in with the shampoo and this shampoo is honey and coconut oil, but the first ingredient is water. That's what I really like about African Pride is that all of these products were liquid based, which is very good for very dry 4C hair. All of these products smelled really good. The shampoo was a very light natural smell rather than like an artificial tropical kind of fragrant smell, which I liked. It has the classic shampoo texture. And when I added it to my hair, Obviously, I made sure my hair was soaking wet and it did get sudsy really quickly, which is good. And it did have enough slip that I could detangle with this shampoo in. So if you're someone who likes to do that, I think you could do that with this shampoo. What I really liked about this shampoo is that it didn't tangle up my hair or give it that dry stripped feeling. It was super moisturizing and I also didn't need too much of it to get my hair sudsy, which is good. I think I can get at least two more uses out of this shampoo, so that's really good for the price. This shampoo bottle was only $4.69. I think that's a really good price, especially because I can use the product again. At this point, I was very pleased with how this wash day was going. Because I took out my Fulani braids after only a month of wearing them, I had absolutely no matting. And if you've ever watched my videos, I have matting pretty much every wash day. So now I know that a month is the longest I should be wearing a protective style because it just saved me so much time. I had no breakage, I had barely any shed hair and absolutely no matting. So I would highly suggest guys, don't wear your protective style too long. You're just gonna make your wash day more of a hassle and something you don't wanna do instead of just doing it quickly and more pleasantly. What I mostly had was shed hair from the braids. So I just gently removed them with my fingers or with my wide tooth comb. So all of those sections are done and then I just had this section in the front and I was moving very quickly guys so I was so happy like I'm usually very upset during wash day but during this wash day, I actually felt energized and like excited about doing my hair because there was no matting and I wasn't just struggling and like fighting my hair. So I just tied back all the other sections so they wouldn't get in the way and I just scrubbed my scalp with the pads in my fingers and mostly focused the shampoo on the scalp. I didn't have too much product buildup. I was mostly just trying to get rid of the gel and edge control that I had in the front. 
So this is what my hair was looking like. You can tell by how shrunken it is that the shampoo is water-based and that my hair was very moisturized and filled with water. So this is what my hair looked like after rinsing it out. It was extremely soft and like buttery and smooth feeling. So that was really nice after only using the shampoo. So I did rinse the rest of my hair well in sections. So next up is the Honey Chocolate and Coconut Conditioner. I had never used a product with chocolate in it before, but it smelled really, really good, and it was very moisturizing. So this is another water-based product, and you can see how much it just melts into my hair and how like fluffy my hair looks. It may look like I don't have that much product on my hair, but I do, and my hair is soaking wet. It's just that the product is very watery, so you can't really see the product in my hair. It actually just melts away into my hair so I gently went section by section added the conditioner then I tried to finger detangle a little bit and then I went in with my wide tooth comb very gently and I removed the shedding and any tangles that I did have the downside was that the slip was not amazing that's why I look upset here but if my hair was tangled or matted this would not be a very good detangling product in my opinion I really like the moisture but the slip was not there for me By the way guys, I do always detangle my hair while I either have conditioner in it or deep conditioner because it's so much easier when the hair is soaking wet and filled with a moisturizing product. So overall for this conditioner, the smell and ingredients are really nice. It's super moisturizing and water-based. The slip isn't very good, but the product is $4.69, which is a great price. And because it's chocolate, the product is actually brown. So I could tell that my hair was thoroughly rinsed out once I didn't see brown water coming out of my hair anymore. So I actually think that was really nice. I was shook at how soft and supple my hair was once I rinsed out this conditioner. So again, very, very moisturizing. I really do like this product. If my hair was super matted, I just wouldn't use it to detangle. I would probably just try to detangle with a deep conditioner after using this conditioner. Next was the Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask. I really enjoyed this mask. It's probably my favorite part of the line. It was extremely moisturizing. I think it's very moisturizing because it is a water-based product, but it also has that Shea Butter and Moroccan Red Clay in it, which gives it a really creamy and thick texture that my hair really liked. I ended up keeping it in my hair for 30 minutes, but I only put heat on my hair with the blow dryer for about 10 minutes and then I got bored. But I really like this mask and it was probably my favorite part of the line. It is 519, which I don't think is that bad for a mask and I think I can get two uses out of this bottle. Considering how much hair I have, I think if your hair is less dense, you'll be able to use it even more than that. So I think that's really good.
that map beep, no limit, baby. Give you that black car, no limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. Say, uh, no limit. I see murder, murder, that a little longer than a few minutes later. I would just love to take you there You don't have to worry about a thing I gotta let me show you better than No, just let me hold You be my soldier So after the 30 minutes, I rinsed it out and my hair was supple, supple, guys. I hope that's the right word, but it was just like buttery and smooth and soft and fluffy. And this whole process also didn't take too long, so I was in a very good mood at this point. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me this cloud. It's all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually, I. The final step was the coconut oil and babao oil leave-in cream. I don't know how you say that. I hope I'm saying that right. Babao oil, babao bab, bao bao oil. But I really like this leave-in, guys. It had a very light smell and it was also water-based, so that moisture was in there. I could feel it in my hair. And even the next day, which is today, my hair is very moisturized. Because my hair was already thoroughly detangled, I just went section by section and slathered the leave-in onto my hair. I did go into filming another video on how I did a sleek bun, so I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I will say that this leave-in cream was really nice. It's also 519 and it's a pretty big bottle, so I really like that and I'm gonna keep using it for my daily moisturizing. It's very watery and light, so the more I layer it, I'm not really getting flakiness or like product buildup. So that's very nice about this product. I would also say that this leave-in cream has more slip than the conditioner. So you could try to detangle with the leave-in if the conditioner and deep conditioner didn't thoroughly do that for you. Here you can see that I have a little bit of curl definition, but also my hair is super shrunken and like short. So again, that just shows like how moisturized and wet and like liquidy this product is. So here I'm just wetting the section a little more before adding the leave-in. Always make sure that you're applying your products to soaking wet hair. This is the only way that water and liquid is going to get sealed in there. I also try to use the praying hands method to keep the hair stretched and to avoid like scrunching it back up and causing more tangles. So after I applied that to every section, I just went ahead into styling. So you could do a twist out at this point, you could do a low bun, you could do a protective style, whatever it is you're trying to do to your hair. 
So this is me at the end of wash day. I did my sleek bun, which I'll show in another video, but my hair is so healthy right now, so moisturized. I really like these products and my wash day was very easy, very quick. My hair was still wet here. It did not dry white or flaky or anything. But that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something from it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!